Hi, this is Rachel, and we're going to look at the interior angles in shapes. So, what do I mean by interior angles? Well, if I have a shape, for example, I've got a triangle here, the interior angles are the angles that are inside the boundaries of the shapes. So this example has three interior angles, this one, this one, and this one. So a triangle always has three interior angles. Now, I can calculate the sum of interior angles using this equation down here. So n minus 2 times 180, where n is the number of sides of the shape. So I have two questions here about the interior angles of a shape. So I'm going to start with this one on the left, with this triangle. Now I can either use this formula to calculate the sum of interior angles in a triangle, or I can just know this one. I think the triangle is a fairly easy one to just know, because the sum of interior angles is 180. Now this is a useful piece of information to know, because knowing the sum of the interior angles will allow me to calculate what this angle is. So I'm going to call that angle x. Remember, x just means any number. So I have two angles that I know here. I've been given this angle and this one. So this has 52 degrees. Now this angle doesn't have a degrees value attached to it, but as you can see, this is a right angle triangle, and this is a right angle. I can tell because it's square, not curved like these other ones. And that means that that is an angle of 90 degrees. So right angles are always 90 degrees. So now I have two of my three angles in this triangle. And I know that all three add up to 180. So what I can do is I can just take away these two angles from 180 to give me the missing angle. So let's have a go at doing that. So my calculation is 180 minus 90, that's that right angle, and then minus 52. So I'm going to do this on a calculator. So let me bring my calculator over. I'm doing 180 minus 90 minus 52 and that gives me my angle here my angle X which is 38 and that's in degrees so remember when we've got angles they're usually in degrees so that little symbol the little O looking symbol up there means degrees so that is my missing angle in that triangle Let's have a look at this other question on the right. So this is asking for the sum of the interior angles of an octagon. Now sometimes a question will give you a drawn shape and you just have to count the sides, or for the first few shapes you need to know how many sides they've got. So the clue in octagon is this word oct, which means eight. You may be familiar with the word octopus, which is a sea creature with eight legs. So honestly, that's how I remember octagon. So an octagon has eight sides. And I'm just gonna make a note of that. Now that I know how many sides an octagon has, I can use this equation down here. So n minus two times 180, where n is the number of sides. So that's why it's useful for me to know how many sides an octagon has. So let's do this. So n is the number of sides, that's 8, minus 2 times 180. So 8 minus 2 is 6, 6 times 180. Again, I'm not going to try and do that in my head, I'm going to pop it in my calculator. So 6 times 180 is 1080. And that is the sum of the interior angles in an octagon, and because it's an angle, I need to have that degrees symbol there.